I've always been really hard-headed and strong. I knew what I wanted in life, and I made it happen. I think choosing to be a licensed real estate was one of the hardest careers I could have ever chosen. Today is my first open house, so I'm pretty terrified. I want my kids to know that being disabled shouldn't define you. You can still do just as much as anybody else. Hi, I'm Valerie Lawrence, a wife. Babe, can you grab my crutches, please? Mother of three. Don't drop my phone, okay? And a real estate agent. Hi. Can you feel like it? I see a table. I have spastic cerebral palsy. I was diagnosed at 17 months. When I was born, the umbilical cord was wrapped around my throat, stopping the oxygen to my brain, which stopped a lot of my mobility. People said I would never be able to be a mother, drive, live on my own, be a wife, be a real estate agent, and I'm proving every single one of those people wrong. <laughs> I'm married to my high school crush, and we have three amazing, beautiful children. So my oldest child is Valentino, he's 11. My middle child is Memphis, he's three, and my baby girl is Charlie, she's two. Oh, I met her in high school. She was pretty cool. How we started talking more was just through Facebook, and that was maybe like 15 years later that we became really close. A little bit of milk, yeah. A typical day, well, our mornings are crazy. Usually when it's a school year, I drop Valentino off at school first, and then I put, take the little ones to daycare so I can get ready for work in the morning. I work in the office two days a week, and then the other two days I work from home. It was really hard for me to to have children. I had several miscarriages before Valentino. And then when I had my two other ones, I had a hip replacement. So that's when they were like, you shouldn't have more children. It's gonna be really hard on you. I actually fell quite a bit when I was pregnant. It was definitely trying and, and I was told don't do it, but I am a knucklehead and I did it anyway. Look, Valentino got your food. I think that if I didn't have my children, I probably, I wouldn't be as determined and as driven in my career, in my life, because it, it makes no choice. I have to get up in the morning. I got to get my kids ready, and I love it. This is where I do my makeup, my hair, and everything like that. Today is my first open house, so I'm pretty terrified, <laughs> to be honest. I'm excited for the change. For real estate, I did phone work. And I recently told my team leader that I was ready to grow and kind of get myself out there. I'm doing the, I'm hosting. So basically when people come in, just greet them. Hey, how you doing? You know, ask them if they're thinking about making a move and how they like the house. If they have any questions, of course, to come and talk to me about it. I enjoy real estate. I want my kids to know that you know, being disabled shouldn't define you. You can still do just as much as anybody else. Obviously, it may take a little longer for me if I'm walking somebody through a new house, but, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited for the change, but I, I am really nervous, too. Really nervous. This picture is the rhizotomy when I had my surgery on my back, on my spine. I think I was about 12 years old with that. Then this was my first time learning how to ride a bike in the hospital. When I look at this picture, it makes me happy. I remember I was really excited. And then this other picture, I went to a program called Euromed. I worked out six days a week in this suit and I learned how to walk within two weeks by myself around the room. Probably took about 10 to 20 steps. So it was awesome. Babe, babe, can you grab my crutches, please? Like, I use my crutches for if I want to go to a friend's house or to a restaurant or hang out. But if it's like the mall or if I have to take my children somewhere and I know I got to carry somebody or hold something, then I take my scooter. Mom, where are you going? Watch out. A specific time that was difficult for me, when my children reach a certain age, they reach their hands up and they want me to pick them up to carry them. And, um... Sorry. That's, that's always been hard for me, but um, 
Just being a mom is amazing. I think that me actually choosing to be a licensed real estate was probably one of the hardest careers I could have ever chosen. When people find out that I'm a licensed agent, they, how do you show houses? How do you do this? How do you do that? And the way I overcome it is I just prove everybody wrong. I continue to do it. I hope to help somebody find, fall in love with the house. I'm just really excited for the first time and then plan on doing a lot more on my own after this. It's my goal to get comfortable. I'm good. Hi, how are you? They even have a bathroom in the garage. Yeah, if you're okay with it, I would like to show you around. And then, are you guys looking to move soon? The type of approach I take as a realtor is I just try to be myself. A lot of times, I think if I'm just, you know, myself and, and don't put so much pressure on people, I explain to them my story. That's it for now, but we're definitely going to be redoing it. I think she likes it. Valerie is honestly one of the hardest working people I've ever met. You know, obviously she has some, some, some challenges that I'd say that not everybody has to deal with and she acts as if she doesn't have anything holding her back and she doesn't let it hold her back. Just really, she's an inspiration. Well, it was so nice meeting all of you. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Good job, girl. Oh, good job. That was awesome. She is amazing. I tell her every day just how proud I am of what she's doing with her life. When we first started talking, she wasn't sure that she was able to do a lot of things that she's doing, and she, right now she does literally everything. For anybody that's struggling with CP, I want you to look at me and know that it is possible. Anything that you want in life is possible. It's not easy. You have to work at it every single day, but never ever, don't be a statistic. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your life. Know you're beautiful, you're incredible, and you're worth everything.